kids. PBS Kids asks, what do you like to do? I'm Madison, and I like to name the bones in the body. Stirrup, mandible, clavicle, humerus. What do you like to do? Clifford is funded in part by a ready-to-learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS stations from viewers like you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Emily Elizabeth, and this is Clifford, my big red dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone can know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. Clifford. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car. And the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. Bet those boats could use a little wind, Clifford. Look, Emily Elizabeth, there's Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Catch any fish today? Shh, you'll scare the fish away. That's it. That's it. Uh, yeah. Whoa! Come on. Come on. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wow, it's a big one. Ooh, it's a stinky one. It's my biggest fish yet. I wish I could fish as well as you can, Charlie. I could teach you if you want. I'd love that. I'm helping my dad today. So, how about tomorrow? Sounds great. You want to come too, Jetta? Hmm, stinky fish, slimy worms, and all that waiting for something to happen. <sighs> no, thank you. Okay. Meet me here tomorrow, Emily, and we'll catch some fish. Woof! That's great! Baz wants us all to go to the park with him to see it fly. But I thought we were having a fishing lesson, Charlie. I know, but but don't you want to see Baz's plane fly? Well, sure, but... We'll fish later. Come on! Okay. Thanks! Ugh. 
Nice throw! Uh-oh. It's headed right for Jenna. Look at Jenna! Jenna! Huh? <gasps> wow! Leopard! Sorry. Are you okay? Emily, Elizabeth, your big red blow dryer messed up my hair. <laughs> he was just helping, Jenna. Vaz's plane was headed right for you. What are you doing playing with Vaz's plane, Charlie? What do you mean? Well, I thought you were going to teach Emily Elizabeth how to fish. I am. Just not today. When are you going to teach me, Charlie? Uh, how about tomorrow? Tomorrow sounds good. <laughs> Don't count on it, Emily Elizabeth. Look at all the great books on fishing I found, Clifford. <laughs> the Armchair Fisherman. Fishing for the non-fisher. And if at first you don't succeed, fish, fish again. <laughs> they sound good, don't they? They sound like you're teaching yourself how to fish. No, I just want to get a head start on things before Charlie gives me my lesson tomorrow. Whatever. But tomorrow my dad is putting up a rope swing at the lagoon. If things don't work out with the fishing lesson, you and Clifford should come play. Thanks, Jetta. Okay, everyone, here I come. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! <laughs> All right! Yeah. All right! Look, here comes Clifford. And Emily Elizabeth. And Charlie. Look out below! <laughs> Woo! Emily Elizabeth. Hi, Jetta. This is great. I know. But I thought you and Charlie were going fishing. We are. Just not today. Why not? Well, Charlie heard about the rope swing, and he couldn't wait to try it out. <sighs> Emily Elizabeth, do you think Charlie is ever going to teach you to fish? Of course. Charlie always does what he says he's going to do. I'm sure we'll have our lesson tomorrow. Emily, Jetta, come and play. I can't wait for Charlie to get here. We're going to do some great fishing today. Charlie must have forgotten about us, Clifford. It's okay. We'll just have to teach ourselves how to fish. Whoa! <laughs> Thanks, Clifford. We don't want to lose things before we even start. Now let's see what my fishing book says to do next. The first step is to bait your hook with something a fish loves to eat. I know, Clifford. When Charlie and I were at the pond last summer, the fish there loved the breadcrumbs we tossed them. So I'm sure I'll catch one with this. must master the art of casting the line. I think that means we have to get this out there. I did it. Now we just sit back and wait for the fish to bite. <laughs> I knew you'd be here, 
Charlie. What do you mean, Jetta? I told Emily Elizabeth you were never going to teach her how to fish. I am too going to teach her. J just not today. Or yesterday. Or the day before that. Wow. I guess I kind of let Emily down, didn't I? I guess so. Well, I'm going to go and fix that right now. Hi, Emily. Oh, hi, Charlie. Catch anything yet? Nope. Gotten any nibbles? Nope. Eaten any worms? Nope. <sighs> Emily, I'm really sorry I didn't teach you how to fish today. Or yesterday. Or the day before that. Yeah. I don't like it when people make a promise and then don't keep it. And I bet you don't like it much either. Well, you did kind of hurt my feelings. I'm sorry. But I'm here now. Would you like some help? Oh, I sure would. I think I just got a bite. And it's a big one. Wow, it sure is. Okay, try to hold it steady. Emily Elizabeth, you are now an official fisherman. But I didn't catch anything. No, but every fisherman has to have a story about the big one that got away. One night, Speckle was walking with his friends when he saw something incredible. A shooting star shot across the sky. That meant Speckle got to make a wish. And he wondered what that wish should be. Darnell thought that Speckle should wish for ice cream. Lots and lots and lots of ice cream. Luna suggested Speckle wish for a giant playground. And Ravi said he should wish that it would be summer all year long. But looking at his friends, Speckle smiled and knew exactly what he was going to wish for. That they would all be friends forever. And as he closed his eyes to make his wish, everyone agreed that that was one wish they would all make come true. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? want to get dirty after Mr. Kibble gave you such a nice grooming. How about a nice yummy treat for my baby girl on this gloomy old day? It didn't take you long to get yourself all dirty again, did it? 
<laughs> I guess you'll just have to have another bath. You're going to feel so much better when you're all fluffy wuffy and clean again. <gasps> There's my beautiful girl. Now please try and stay out of the mud, Cleo, so we don't have to have any more baths today. have any fun without having to take a bath. I don't know why I have to take baths anyway. Hey, maybe I won't. <laughs> I won't. I'll never take a bath again. Never. <laughs> I'm never taking baths. I'm never taking baths. It's much more fun to be an icky, dirty, muddy mess. <laughs> I'm never taking baths. I'm never taking baths. <gasps> oh. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. What a perfect puddle! And it's man, 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 oh man! Yay! <laughs> you got me that you! Even you, Clifford. Uh, wasn't today your grooming day? Yep. But I don't have to worry about grooming days anymore. Because I'm never taking a bath again. Never? Never? Never. Well, what are you waiting for? Jump in! Hey! <clears throat> <clears throat> It's great mud. Well, I guess getting a little more dirty won't really hurt. And that does look like great mud. <laughs> Get ready, guys, cuz here I come. Wahoo! That was great! It sure was. Who's up for another game of Marco Polo? Not me. It's time to get Emily Elizabeth from school. <laughs> when she sees me, I'm gonna get a bath for sure. <laughs> uh-huh. We all need baths. Not me. I'm never gonna take another bath. We'll see you later, Cleo. See you later! Well, I guess it's just me. The Super Duper Submarine! The SS Icky Dirty Muddy Dog! when you have to be the octopus and the hero. Emily Elizabeth must be home from school by now. I'll go see if Clifford can play. 
Ready for a back scrub, Clifford? Whoa. Just missed a great bath. Don't you remember? I don't take baths anymore. Oh, right. I mean, what's the point? You're just gonna get dirty again. Well, sure, but it feels pretty good when you get clean. Wow, Cleo, you're really dirty. Sure am. Aren't you starting to feel... You know, kind of yucky. Not a bit. <laughs> hey, T, you smell like strawberries. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you had to take a bath, too. I bet it was horrible. It wasn't horrible. It was great. First, Sheriff Lewis got the water all warm and bubbly, just the way I like it. We made bubbles and play with Mr. Quacky. He rubbed my tummy. <laughs> my tummy, tummy, tummy. Cleo, are you okay? Oh, yeah, sure, I'm great. Just eh, a little itchy. Anyway, squeak toys are nice. I mean, I love my hedgehog. And having your tummy rubbed, I guess that's okay, too. Just okay? But what's wrong with being dirty? Nothing. We all like to get dirty, but after a while, I start to feel kind of... Icky and sticky. And itchy and twitchy. And all kind of blech. That's when I'm glad Emily Elizabeth likes to give me my bath. I never feel icky and sticky. And I'm never gonna take a bath. You know why I kind of like a bath? We get to spend time with our humans. Uh-huh. I think they like it, too. Really? I never thought of it that way. What way? Well, we're actually doing them a favor by having a bath, aren't we? I mean, it's selfish of us not to let them give us baths. And it can feel really good to get clean, too. Well, sure, that, too. <laughs> but, you know, Mrs. Diller's been extra nice lately. So, I should do something nice for her. And for yourself? <laughs> right. Like, right now. Gotta go. See you later. Bye. You know, I think she really wants a bath. I think so, too, T-Bone. <laughs> wow. I never knew that getting clean could feel so good. Well, look who's having a bath. Oh. <laughs> Dirty or clean, you'll always be my sweet widow Cleo. <laughs> On PBS Kids, it's Rosie's Rule, a brand new show about a girl named Rosie. Ta -da! Her cat's Gatita, her cousin Javi, Hola. and the whole Fuentes family. 
Watch the brand new show, Rosie's Rules, streaming free Monday, October 3rd on PBS Kids. This Halloween, check out all the tricks and treats waiting for you inside the PBS Kids Games app. All right, we're going to need costumes. Dress up with your friends from Daniel Tiger's neighborhood. Terrific choice, neighbor. Or make up your own spooky stories with Xavier Riddle's story creator. Didn't see that coming. And hang out with Arthur for some Halloween fun. I bet this was all DW's idea. It's all on the free PBS Kids Games app. Download today. Clifford is funded in part by a ready-to-learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS stations from viewers like you. Thank you. Clifford says be the best red dog on your block. Visit your local library to discover all kinds of books, both big and small. Dig up more fun with Clifford and his friends at pbskids.org. <laughs> Who's there? Interrupting Snoogledorf? Interrupting Snoogledorf? Who? Ah, the Snoogledorf was supposed to come out and surprise you. Oh, Snoogledorf, where are you? Let's go find it! <laughs> Hello, Snoogledorf? Hey, Snoogledorf, what's poppin'? Not in here. Let's keep looking. <laughs> oh, Snoogledorf? Snoogledorf! Knock, <laughs> 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 knock. Um, who's there? Interrupting Snoogledorf. Interrupting Snoogledorf? <laughs> Looks like you're missing some Snoogle. You can draw, paint, and make a Snoogledorf with us on the PBS Kids Games app. We'll see you there. I taught you to throw a ball. But you taught me to find joy every day. I taught you how to make your bed. But you taught me a blanket can be a castle. A box can be a car and a spaceship. And you don't need a reason to sing. I love spaghetti and spaghetti loves me. You taught me that kindness brings us together. And that anyone can be in the band. You show me that life is an adventure. No matter where you go, all you need is a little courage and imagination. 